I always have notions, you know, out there for the next story or the next story or the next story. The fact of the matter is, I write every story as if it's the last one that there's going to be, because in publishing you never know. It, you know, it's, it's the same in you know television or anything else. Uh, you know, you never know what season is going to be the last season, so you want to try to, you know, make the, make everything sort of wrap up nice. I can tell you, yeah, certainly I, uh, you know, I have notions uh, of where Zane would have been active during uh, the Mandalorian Wars because, you know, where we left him was he's an unofficial Jedi accompanying the Republic ship that he's on. Exactly who he, he would encounter or what he would do totally would have depended on the opportunity that, I, that I'd gotten. I could give you a, a lot of my wild schemes about what I would have done next with uh, Lost Tribe of the Sith or something like that, but it's entirely possible that I will use those story elements or those concepts or just the general idea someplace else, somewhere else, whether it's in Star Wars or not. So, you know, you kind of want to leave anything that is currently in your own imagination as the author, leave it there until uh, you put it on paper somewhere for somebody. That started right at the very beginning because Aaron and Christy and Troy had written up a story Bible on what they, who the Lost Tribe was and where they had come from. And I had that to work with, and I also had early pages from Omen. I knew that I had all these years in between to flesh out, and what I did was I just looked for story hooks, things that I could explain, things that I could deal with. One of the things that needed to be explained was the fact that the Sith at this point in time included a lot of the Red Sith and the Sith species. I knew that by the time that we got to the late era Lost Tribe, it was all humans. Where did they go? I was able to plant some of those things, some of their thoughts about those things much earlier, tie a lot of it into the fact that the original humans, that many of them were there as slaves. And so once they got rid of the Red Sith that were with them, they would start their own sort of Sith empire of sorts. And you know, I got to explore what that slave class was like in a couple of the other stories, including Spiral uh, there at the very end. So yeah, I, I did get quite a lot from, uh, from those guys, and I did use quite a lot. You know, what they wanted to see was Kanan and Hera, their first meeting, and how they started to form this working relationship that we see in the series later on. From the very beginning, it's very hard to see how they would have gotten onto the same page, how they would have actually co collaborated or cooperated on anything. Uh, and so it, it then became the job of the story to you know, show them working together, show her seeing his skills as a tactician, uh, see him coming to respect her skills as a strategist, planting the seeds of that relationship that we would see later on and that group that we would see later on. I wasn't going to be able to show an active rebel cell in operation by the end of this book. Uh, it is too soon. And even Kanan is not thinking in terms of, well, I'm, I'm a rebel just like she is. Uh, you know, they, they don't think in those terms in this book. You know, what I made sure of was that, you know, what happened here was an accidental situation. Yes, they do strike against the Empire, but the Empire is not even really aware it's been struck. You know, then there's just some little terminology things. Uh, you know, I think one of them was that, uh, you know, they decided uh, that we wouldn't have refreshers anymore. It, we, we want people to be able to step more easily into the universe if they have not read a whole lot else. I'm interested in writing in the Star Wars you know, universe, uh, same as I always have been. I, I, one of the great things about the stuff that I've been doing is that no two projects have been the same. A New Dawn feels nothing like Kenobi, which feels nothing like Lost Tribe of the Sith, which feels nothing like Night Errant, which feels nothing like Knights of the Old Republic. Yes, yeah, certainly I have always been interested in writing for the screen. It's just one of those things that I have not really gotten down and focused on. I just feel blessed to be able to, uh, to write for this, uh, uh, you know, for this world, and uh, I really appreciate the fans that are really devoted and work on the, on the wikis. That material is, is a help to writers of tie-in fiction. I have a lot of different uh, you know, wikia pages uh, uh, bookmarked uh, for all the various things that I do. It, it, is, it is helpful to have uh, you know, that resource. Thank you guys. Folks can always find me on my website farawaypress.com. I've got behind-the-scenes pages on all the comics and all the novels and everything I've done. 
Uh, and they can also find me on uh, on uh, Twitter, uh, JJM Faraway.